In this tutorial, I'll be going over Brennan Yuri's Demon in Panic at the Disco's Emperor's New Clothes music video. I know, it looks weird that I just peeled my chin off. But I just want to show you guys, when you guys are using silicone, you basically made yourself a little silicone prosthetic that you can actually glue back on and use it over and over again if you want. Depends on how much you want to be a demon. All the products that you say will sit somewhere around the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to see a reference of this character, I'll also put their music video in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. I'm starting off by covering my brows with the good old glue stick method. Washable glue stick method. And this is applying a washable glue stick to your brows to cover them. You can then line up your horns on your forehead. No, I did not cut the plastic off yet here. And just draw an outline so you know where they're going to be. I'm then using an eyebrow marker to sketch out the entire design on my face and on my chest. I'm gonna be using third degree, which is on skin silicone and it's clear. So I needed to know where I was going. I then mix together my skin safe silicone and put it on my chin. Silicone cures when it's warm, so you're gonna wanna put it on layer by layer and then dry it with a hair dryer. So to prevent it from dripping off my face, I'm using a hair dryer to dry it at the same time. Once it's pretty much almost cured, I'm going in with a stippling sponge and alcohol just to smooth out any edges. To do the design on his face, I decided to pipe on the silicone. You guys can use a piping bag, but I just put some in a Ziploc bag and cut off the tip. Now my skin personally reacts to adhesives not so great, so I decided to apply the skin safe silicone directly to my skin to try to avoid adhesive, which is totally fine, but if you're wearing it out throughout the night, it will start to peel around your mouth. If you're gonna be wearing this look out, I'd suggest piping on the swirl details on wax paper, waiting for it to cure, then peeling it off and sticking it on with some prose. Any non-movable areas like next to your eyes and on your forehead will stay all night by applying it directly to your face. I'm then airbrushing on the first layer of paint, which is an alcohol water paint hybrid. And I'm just literally applying that everywhere. To add on some little ears, I'm applying a little bit of prosade to my ears while also the ear prosthetic. Wait until the prosade is almost completely dry. With prosade, you do not have to tap it. You just have to wait until it is clear and stick on your ears. I'm also using the end of a brush to roll down all of the edges. Of course, airbrush them gray. Using a stippling brush and my regular water-based body paint, I'm then going in with a light gray, dark gray, and a little bit of white and just stippling that on everywhere. He has sort of a concrete look to him, so I'm getting more of that textured effect. Using black body paint with almost no water in it, I'm then going in and defining some of the details, including darkening up the lips and going around all of the designs. You can also darken up around your eyes and in your ears. Using a water-based gray body paint, go ahead and paint your hair gray. Put in your two fangs on each side. Add on your horns and become a demon. 